hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And in today's video, I am basically going to be trying meal prep for a week. Kind of backwards. I've already done it for a week now. And I'm just going to tell you that the results are kind of shocking. So I'll come back towards the end of the video looking exactly the same. And tell you what the results were and the fact that I was basically shook. Um, but in the meantime, can we just take a look at, sorry, one second, like how cute this confetti Starbucks cup is. When you pour the liquid in it, these little dots change colour. So they go from like plain white to like all multicoloured and colourful. And then the straw is colourful and it's just all so cute. Um, my house is also a bit of a mess right now because we are hosting a graduation party for my sister. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She is now a doctor. Ooh. So that was part of the motivation I had. Also, I've just gained so much weight during lockdown that I just didn't feel comfortable with myself. I wasn't eating healthy. I was always tired and like I would go to gym and usually gym would pick me up. But even going to the gym didn't make me less tired. And I'm realizing now it was because your girl was eating really, really huge portions of food and just really carb heavy food that's just... You know, the stuff that like comforts you during a lockdown. That was what I was continuing with even post lockdown. So the main reason I wanted to lose some weight was because I'd gained weight from the healthy stable that I was at um, during lockdown period. And I feel like a lot of people um, might have experienced this too. Um, this is in no way to say that like there is a perfect weight or size or that you should go on a diet. Everyone needs to see what works for them. And I don't want to be out here encouraging people to lose weight. Just remember you're beautiful as you are. But if you feel like there's something that you want to improve on yourself, then go ahead and do that. And that is exactly what I wanted to do. So I basically ordered meal prep from this company. It wasn't sponsored. Um, I just wanted someone who had my food ready made and that I just like could just put it in the microwave at work or whatever and it'll be chill and ready. I don't need to worry about it being healthy because the options at my workplace are not healthy. So anyway, I ordered meal prep. It came to my house. For any of you guys wondering, I ordered lunch and dinner for five days and altogether it came up to 50 pounds or 52 pounds and then I had to pay eight pounds for the delivery. So it came to 60 pounds. So that works out to 60 pounds for 10 meals, six pounds a meal. So some of you guys might be thinking, mm, that's quite expensive. But when I calculated it, I would go to M&S and like try and buy like healthy salads. Then by the time I buy the chicken to add on and then a little like, I don't know, snack on the side or whatever, it all came up to like 15 pounds each meal. So I was saving a lot of money. Like I genuinely have saved so much money from doing this meal prep this week because I haven't eaten out either. Just one meal I ended up eating out um so yeah I did end up saving a lot of money but you guys will have to watch the video to see whether I like the food whether I actually lost any weight and whether I would do it again so it came in like an iced out pack like in a box it looked really good this is one of the dishes beef and pui lentil ragu with roast peppers and papadal pasta turkey salsa pepper asian noodle salad uh, fennel and herb pork with butternut beans. What else is this? Japanese chicken katsu curry. That looks really good. And it's got like all of the nutritional information on each one. The way I've done my meal plan with them is that I wanted to lose some weight. So it's a calorie restricted, carbohydrate restricted one. But you have different meal plans for different things. It's like a, mine was I think the get lean one. I didn't pick breakfast because I'm actually allergic to a lot of fruit. So, um... I know so many healthy breakfasts involve fruit, so I just didn't want to go through that hassle. I'd rather have my own breakfasts. So I will let you guys know how I find it. So I'm about to try my first meal, which is the fajita chicken thighs with basmati rice and halloumi. Um, and I will let you know, let you guys know how I find it. Just done a workout in the gym, so I'm pretty hungry. I had breakfast today. I had um, tomato omelette with one slice of brown toast. And I'm going to try and do this concurrently with intermittent fasting. So hopefully that will help if I'm, you know, trying to reach my fitness goals. But I'm not going to let myself go hungry. Um, so yeah, hopefully it goes well and I like it. The other thing I was thinking was there's no heating instructions on this. So I don't know if this, I don't think this can go into a microwave. I think I have to pull it onto a plate, which is long when I'm at work. But this week I'm only at work two days and then I have three days of annual leave. Mm -mm -mm. And I've got the weekend off. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I'm working in the clinic on the weekend. But still, you know, I've got a chill week this week. So I can kind of do this more properly. My bad, it actually seems to have, um, 
eating instructions and stuff on the bottom bit there so yeah maybe just check that out if you guys order this but yeah so it says that i can actually remove the sauce pot and replace film there is no sauce pot was there shit because i literally just emptied it onto a plate oops let me look and see so I probably should have like cleaned the plate to make it look more appetizing, but I honestly couldn't be bothered. This is my first meal, it's the chicken fajita with basmati rice. Um, let me try it and give you a review. So, first things first, it looks a bit too hot. Ooh, there's halloumi! Oh, nice! Okay, there's halloumi, there's chicken, there's tomato sauce, there's vegetables. It's said to warm it for three and a half minutes, but I think three and a half minutes is way too long. So, let me see. It's nice. This is actually really nice. You know what? The halloumi in the chicken, with the chicken and the tomato sauce, makes it taste really good. Wow, I'm surprised that this is actually, like, healthy diet food. And the portion seems like a nice size. I'm going to eat all of this, and I'll let you know if I feel full by the end of the meal. Um, but, honestly, on a taste scale, especially for a food that's been... I'm going to base this on ready meals that I've had. I would give this an 8 out of 10 for ready meals, and I would eat it again, definitely. I like the halloumi in it, so yum. So it's 7.30pm and I'm going to have my dinner now, I'm going to have king prawn tikka masala and roasted vegetable pilaf, so I will let you guys know how this one is. I just realised I forgot to tell you um, if I found the lunch filling, I did find it filling, which is why I'm having my dinner slightly later, like I would have liked to have had it like maybe around seven yeah so i'm just gonna try this one now and let you know what i think also my eye has gone so swollen with hay fever it is definitely hay fever season guys so this is what it looks like um i would say the microwave instructions on this are a bit dodge because it says three and a half minutes for all of them and this one was like exploding in my microwave after two minutes so make up your own microwave times um but yeah let me try this for you guys i'm gonna have a little spoon it smells good it tastes really good too. I would actually recommend this one as well. Probably give this one a 7. I liked the other one with the halloumi more. Um, but this is still very good. I quite like it. Obviously, don't get me wrong. This is not restaurant standard food. Or like, you know, you're not having... How can I explain it? You're not having like a bougie... I can't compare this to like a bougie dinner. Or even like a normal dinner. This is like you have to compare it to ready meals. Because that's exactly what it is. And for ready meals, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Um, so bear in mind 10 out of 10 is probably like an M&S lasagna or something so yeah this is quite good I would say considering it's healthy even better so day two's lunch is roast chicken with cumin and pomegranate and beetroot and bulgur wheat and then it comes with this sauce which I have no idea what is in there but I'm going to try this I'm at work now I just warmed this in the microwave and try this and let you know what I think. A okay, quick intermission from editing me who couldn't rate her meals in front of her co-workers because that was a bit awkward. This lunch, it was, I would say, a 5 out of 10. That sauce was really weird. Actually, I'd say it's a 4 out of 10. If you gave it to me again, I wouldn't want to eat it. So, yeah, that kind of says what it is about it. But it was mm, relatively filling. Yeah, 4 out of 10. Didn't really love it. The day before was much better. So, in good news, I think over 50 staff members have told me they like my pink dress today. In bad news, I'm so hungry. I really need to eat my next meal now, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is the chicken katsu curry, which I'm having now. It's the second meal of the day, which I'm going to have for dinner. And it actually smells like katsu curry, so I will tell you if I like it or not. So this chicken katsu curry was really nice. I feel like, can you hear me if I don't do this? I don't know why all the YouTubers do this and they talk to the mic like this. Okay, sorry, fucking about here. Um... This chicken katsu curry was really nice. It's not like a Wagamama's chicken katsu curry, so don't get gassed out here. But for a little healthy version, I would give it like a 6 out of 10. I really liked it. Um, it was actually probably yummier than the halloumi chicken thing, but the halloumi with tomato chicken sauce was really like pushing the bar up. I don't know why I was like so wowed by that. So guys, today is day three, but I'm really like hungry. All I had yesterday was my two meals. Today is one, it's Italian beef with basil, walnut and pesto. But I don't think I'll be full. I bought some extra vegetables from my cafeteria. But I'm so hungry, so let's see. 
do with this? Okay, this one was actually vile. I had like three spoons of it. The beef was super weird. I'd give this one like a literally two out of ten. Really didn't like the, the meat. Just, ugh, it was gross. And like the potatoes. I ended up eating just plain vegetables from like the canteen at work, which was really sad. So considering how hungry I was well it made me extra grumpy and yeah wasn't wasn't a lifestyle guys gonna put it out there so let me tell you what happened yesterday um I warmed up my salmon that I was given for the meal prep and basically I didn't realize that the sauce pot was inside the salmon dish so I ended up accidentally cooking the sauce pot into the salmon dish but lucky for me we had some salmon at home so my dad recreated the exact same dish for me in the exact same portion size that's what I had but I didn't record it because I just thought like this is a bit of a flop not gonna lie um and then in the evening I went out with Sina and I had some tom yum soup so I thought that that was like to be honest even a smaller portion than what my meal prep thing was but I basically can't go without breakfast I think that without the breakfast the meal prep is like not enough not sufficient calories for me to suffice through a day not that i'm calorie counting but more like calories in terms of energy that i require to actually function in a day um but when i have breakfast and then i have the meal prep lunch and dinner i actually feel like i'm finally eating the correct portion size before i was eating too much feeling too heavy and tired and groggy and now i know why i was always so tired it was because I was eating too much so yeah so this is what I'm having for breakfast today I'm having a bagel thin um, with one um, whole egg and an added egg white with avocado I think that's like a perfect breakfast and I'm having it with an ice cold latte with semi skim milk um, and sweetener and look what everyone else is having for breakfast please Selfridges cakes that I got my dad yesterday um, bread cheese so, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the, that my meal prep is going well so far. I'm really happy with it. So I just got home from the gym. I done a workout and this is probably the first workout I think I've done. I think I did one on the first day that I started um, this diet or whatever you want to call it, this meal prep. And I actually feel like I can't do anywhere near as much as I could before. So I starting to realize like if I want to do intense workouts, I obviously need to eat more to fuel those workouts. Um, but it was good for like a low intensity, like I did a list, like a low intensity strength um, workout. But yeah, if I want to do something high intensity, I'm going to need... A lot more energy to fuel it in my opinion but anyway um it's been about an hour and a half since i've been home from the gym and i'm gonna have lunch now usually i have protein shakes but i haven't been because of this meal prep um i didn't have one because of this meal prep so i'm gonna see what is on my little lunch menu so on the menu i have chili and garlic chicken thighs with tomato rice this is all the energy info and the ingredients and I'm excited to try this one um, I'm gonna put it on a plate just to make sure there's no sauce pot that I need to freaking get rid of I was actually so annoyed yesterday when I realized that I like had put the sauce pot into the microwave because I was like I actually really wanted to try the salmon out of all of the dishes that was there um, so yeah I was just a bit frustrated but well I'm gonna try this now and we'll see what I think so here it is warmed up in the bowl first impressions is I feel like there's the perfect amount of like rice and beans and tomato but I do think there's not enough chicken if there's more protein in these portions then maybe I um, would have more energy for the gym so I'm just trying to think like how I could possibly like adapt this so that I would have more strength so let me try this now this was nice i just feel like it kind of lacks seasoning like i'm gonna need to add salt to this now and pepper and some chili um but it tastes quite good to be honest and i think you just need to kind of season it up yourself 
um so i'm gonna do that i literally just woke up from like an hour long nap on the sofa i had the worst sleep last night because hay fever season is upon us and it is absolutely awful and as you can tell i i look like i've just woken up or that i've been crying not been crying but i was having like the weirdest i just have like the weirdest most random vivid dreams but yeah like i literally fell asleep on the sofa for like an hour um after my meal i would say like it's a satisfying meal if you're not really moving much but i think when i was on call my meals were yeah i think i needed like a breakfast included in my meals when i was on call because i was way too weak but yeah now i feel fine i could go back to sleep but i don't want to like ruin my sleeping pattern so i'm just gonna like get up and get on with my jobs so for my final meal i have beef and pui lentil ragu with roast peppers and parbadal pasta i'm actually looking forward to have some pasta i feel like i need some carbs for more energy so this will be good i still have this salt and pepper asian salad and noodles that i didn't have last night because i had the tom yum soup instead but i'm gonna give this to sol to have for dinner because she really wants to try this kbk um package so i will give it to her okay so this one probably looks and smells the most appetizing other than the salmon one which i ruined um out of all the meals i've had so far so let me try it sorry this lighting is literally awful yum i'm so excited to have some pasta i literally love pasta for anyone who knows me i love sushi and i love pasta mm. this tastes like a waitress ready meal pasta if any of you guys have had waitress ready meals or just ready meal pastas the sunlight is actually kidding me um yeah this tastes really good i'm actually gonna enjoy this and devour it and maybe eat it slowly so it lasts longer um but if i'm still hungry after i might have like a bit of like chicken or something because i don't want to be hungry like that's not the purpose of this um so yeah so five days down the line and this is my figure so my stomach is a lot more flat like as in genuinely speaking my tummy was like obviously like i'm standing straight now so like if i stand like relaxed what i look like this is what i sound like if i stand straight my tummy is a lot more flat i feel much better i have lost all in all two kg which is incredible i think two kg sounds about right for the first week that you go on a diet but on average you want to lose between half and one kilo per week for healthy safe weight loss um i don't think there's much more weight i want to lose beyond this uh, i think it's more now about toning up and sculpting so i knew that my weight was good before i just felt like i had a lot of extra fat on me so it's now it's more about losing that fat turning it into muscle again and feeling strong again which i'm so glad about I'm really happy with the results, so much so that I've already ordered my food for next week because I feel like it's really helped me to understand portion sizes and helped me to know what food groups I should eat more of. The only thing I would say is I felt like the meals didn't have enough protein in them. Um, so maybe that's just because I chose the weight loss, get lean option. But if I maybe had chose like the maintenance option, then it would have more protein. But I think next with next week's food, I'm literally going to buy some more chicken and just add in some more chicken because I feel like I want to be satisfied. For sitting at home, being sedentary, not doing anything, it was fine. But if I was at work on call, which I was for two of those days, I was working a 13 hour shift. One of those days I didn't have breakfast because I missed it because I woke up too late, basically. Um then I ended up just being like absolutely exhausted, starving, grumpy. Um, but the second day when I had breakfast, I felt much better. Um, and I think one day I added in some vegetables as well. So I wasn't afraid to kind of adapt it to eat a bit more if I felt hungry. But yeah, this week when it comes around again, I'm definitely going to incorporate some more kind of carb, kind of more like protein and like, yeah, just like keeping it kind of healthy and light and good and getting strong again which is what i ultimately wanted from this kind of challenge would i recommend it yes and i am doing it again so 
that is my kind of update on this i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know if there's more challenges that you guys want me to try trying something out for a week was actually quite fun um and it's something that i want to continue with in this challenge case in the case of this challenge but maybe something else i would hate it so let me know if there's something cool something else that i should try um also don't forget to check out my socials that always link down below in the description my instagram is persian bunny my snapchat is seppi samoy and my tiktok is persian underscore bunny i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye